Now we in the vlog. This is our screen time. You know we finna hog. Coach put me on a filler, man. I make the pain. Doing the thing with number two, you run running back all day. Thing with number three, he knew it. Rock around with me. It's still ping with number one. You know we finna, finna, finna spin, 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 spin. Catch me out, we gon' win, win, win. Catch me trade, do a man in it. Ping with number one, nine, ten, 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 ten gang. We got the Joaquin spots, the jacket spots. Uh, yeah, on the bench, man, 10 reps. Um, and you look at the grip, man. I love doing that myself. Like, whenever you're doing it, like, not having your hands folded over, it's something about it that just makes me feel like it, it's just a feeling, honestly. It doesn't really change much. But whenever, like, the reps start getting heavy, that's when I really just got to grip the bar and just, like, it's like fighting it from the bottom, really just fighting it, honestly. As y'all see here, this is my second set. This is my uh, second set with 10, uh, 10 reps, but I got 185 pounds on the bar of a 10. Yes, we went up today. We have gone up. Um, usually on this set, we'd probably be doing like 175, but today I said, no, we're going up higher this week. We're going for heavier weight, um, and it went really well. Look at that. Ooh, easy. Pull my cuffs. Look at me get up. Uh, my bad. Got a little hype there for a minute. Look at the boy Jackie Spots going. He got ten. He got eight reps now. We're on eight reps, and um, look at the camera work. Look at the camera work by AB. Oh my goodness, moving the thing up. He is about approximately one hundred and y'all do math. What's one hundred thirty-five plus ten? One hundred forty-five. Y'all see that math? Uh huh. Ooh, this, I call this the AB special stretch, man. Whenever I do that, I feel like regenerated when I'm about to bench. My chest is just a lot looser, and I can just go for reps. Um, we have about one ninety-five on the bar right now. I'm just trying to get, just trying to get this up for about eight. That is a top five celebration right there. You see that? Um, Got to stay hyped during this. We're keeping me motivated. We're on six reps now. Look at Jackie. Oh, you know the weight's getting heavier. You know you're really pushing. You got Jackie straining the triple chin, the quadruple chin coming in. Uh, he, you know, he's pushing up from the hips. There we go. Get up. Get it up. There you go, Joaquin. That's a hardworking man right there. Here I go. Six reps. Don't know how much I had on. I assume I have about 215 on the bar at this point. I think it's 215 for six is what I have on. I don't want to lie or fabricate, but I'm pretty sure it's 215. But we getting it up. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Get a little smack. Yeah, that's how you know, that's how you know you motivated right there. Uh, now we got four reps right here. I have about 225. Oh, correction. I'm going for 230 for four right now. Look at this. Told y'all we're going up this week. Getting heavy. Ooh, look at the shoulder. The push from the shoulder. Y'all see that? Look at the shoulder. Oh, my gosh. Stay hype, boy. Feel it. Like, feel it. Like, extra. If you can't get a full rep, this is why the Smith machine is awesome. Jackie's on the phone. Uh, but you know, you know what I'm saying? He's working regardless. I respect it, man. Jackie said, forget it. He said, put the phone down. Pick the weight up. He's posting now, man. I'm with you, boy. Good job, boy. All right, now I'm about to come in. You know, I got to do the A-B special stretch, man. Put our arms back. Put them to the side. Yes, sir. Now here, just lock in. Let's get quiet. Woo! We got about 245 on the bar right now. We're going for two reps. Two reps. What? Two! Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh, mm. No, I can't get it. I said I push. I gotta get my chest up. Ah. Uh, 
you still love me if I told you all my feelings? I want it back to where we were. Honestly, your love was just a blur. Tell me where we back then. I know you was acting. I saw her in black tint. She thought I'm really just trying to get a little bit of extra work here on the chest. I know I can't get it up, but I'm like, dang, if I can just get to push a little bit, break some more muscle down, that'd be fantastic. You know what I'm saying? Here, Dougie comes and helps me. Thank God. Get it up a little bit. Got it all the way up. Let's go. You talking to me? You talking to me? Nick, Nick. You talking to me? Who mm. mm. you think you'll get away with talking to me like that, huh? Nick, get him. Get him, Nick. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but I love movies. Um, I haven't watched as much as I used to, but I really enjoyed movies. During the summertime, me and my best friend, Jay, um, got together, we watched Star Wars. We watched Star Wars every single day trying to get through the series. We ended up getting through it, finishing the entire series. Me and his favorite character, of course, was Anakin because Anakin was, was just fire. He's, he's a bad he's a bad boy, man. That's a bad man right there. Um, but but he, he was good, you know what I'm saying? He, he could really, he was a great fighter. He was the, he was the one, you know what I'm saying? He was he was the one that they, they all thought would be the one to bring the light, you know what I'm saying? To to bring the light to the, to the darkness, you know what I'm saying? To to defeat the Sith and, and, and really just make the darkness go away, you know what I'm saying? He was supposed to be the one to bring balance back to a place that really needed it. And today we have a world of Christians that are supposed to be showing off the light and bringing the light. But instead, they're like Anakin and they're allowing the darkness to consume them. We as Christians are called to be the impactors and not the impacted. We are called to be the ones to cause the effect, not the ones to be affected. When I put this sauce on my food, it's supposed to make the, the flavor of the food that I'm consuming change. The food shouldn't be changing the taste of the, of the sauce. The sauce is what's supposed to affect the meal. But sometimes us people, we don't understand that we are, we are the ones to bring change to this world. But we get so consumed in the look of the world, allow it to consume and change us. Here in Proverbs the 25th chapter, I get the understanding that us believers in Christ are called to move in a way that brings blessings to the world, not take away. Because anytime we allow ourselves to be distracted from the mission that God's put us on, we allow ourselves to take away from what we have been called to do. Because your absence is taking away from, from an opportunity to do God's will and work. If I don't show up to a game, I get no stats. So regardless, I did never add anything, but I also took away from the potential of what could have been. Anakin, from a young boy, was prophesied to be to be the next one. They, they just knew he would be it. After Obi-Wan's master died, who, who put his life on the line for all, um, in fact, died. Obi-Wan's master died and Obi-Wan could continue to, to raise and, and teach um, Anakin how to fight and, and he grew him up and, and was there for him through all things. He taught him how to be a good Jedi. And, and he did it all that he may bring balance in between in, 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 into the universe. But along that path, Anakin's ideas and his mind became shrewded and clouded by the, the world that he had been in. He saw pain, he saw hurt, he saw suffering. And in the midst of it all, he saw in the dark side the power to make a change. But he forgot that he had power in the light. Because what happened is that sometimes the dark side shows you that there's a quicker way to get where you want to go. He ran out of patience, he struggled, and he didn't trust the process that the light had. In fact, do, going with the dark side brought about the situation he was trying to avoid. Many of us are trying to avoid hard times. Many of us are trying to escape our biggest fears. We're, we're trying to do things and, and gain our biggest goals quicker than, than we think we can if we choose the right route. We're doing evil things just because it looks better, it looks easier, and everybody else is doing it. And because we see power and potential in these situations. 
not understanding that God's process is the right process and it's the one that is least chosen because it's the one that takes the most dedication, the most sacrifice, and the one that ultimately calls you to deny yourself. And when you choose the light, you choose to move in a, on a path that, that you cannot walk alone. But when you choose the dark side, you are the one who makes your own decision. And a lot of people aren't willing to give up that decision making. But when it, whatever side you choose, you have to recognize that one brings blessings and one brings curses. When you choose to walk in the way of the light, in consistency, you are going to bring life one way or another. Here in Proverbs the 25th chapter, it says uh, in verse 4 and 5, Remove impurities from silver and material will be produced for a silversmith. Remove the wicked from the king's presence and his throne will be established in righteousness. A king, a king's throne is established in righteousness when he, he gets rid of the wicked around him. And what it also tells me is that no matter who is around the king, the king himself must be righteous. So number one, where you put yourself and who you allow to impact you is important. Because your life is going to be established based on what you surround yourself with and fill yourself with. So if you hang around wicked people, you tempt yourself to fall into wickedness. And, and, you, and no matter what you take away from some of the blessings you're receiving, because those that are pouring into your life aren't pouring in any blessings because they don't walk in righteousness. And along with that, you will never have an established throne if you don't decide to walk in righteousness. So no matter who you surround yourself with, you have to make sure that you continue to be righteous. Are you the impacted or the impactor? Are the people you're hanging around receiving blessings because you're walking in righteousness? Or are they being unchanged because your life produces no fruit? Who are you? I've never seen a tree that is a fruit bearing tree produce no fruit. I've never seen an apple tree that looks like a regular cedar or, or like any other tree because it's called to produce fruit. That's what separates you. What blessings are you bringing? Are you bringing blessings or are you rotting? Are you rotting? What are you doing? What is your impact? What is your calling and what are you doing to, to, to bring it forth? It says here in verse 26, a righteous person who yields to the wicked is like a, a, muddled, uh, a muddled spring or a polluted well. It is not good to eat too much honey or to seek glory after glory. A person who does not control his temper is like a city whose wall is broken down. You have to be in control of yourself, disciplined enough to put yourself in the hands of God. When we talk about self-control, a lot of people think about holding on to or, or telling themselves just no. And yeah, that's a big part of it. But a big part of it is telling myself no because I choose God and then handing my, my peace, handing my, my control over to God. That is self-control. Having self-control is having the ability to tell myself no, denying myself and saying yes to God. That is self-control. It's not saying no for my own selfish ulterior motives. A lot of us are saying no to the things that God says no to because we want God to bless us for his purposes, for our own purposes and not his. I watched something from John Gabbana earlier. Anybody wonder who John Gabbana is? That's, that's Boom Gang. Um, or who, who used to be, be boot gang. Y'all remember the guy who used to run around stealing from people? He changed his life around, man. Big time. He was talking about he just lost everything, man. He lost everything, got it back, lost it all again. And things have been hard. He's been struggling. But in the midst of it, he realized that he had begun to allow that stuff in his life to, to, to become a distraction. And, and, and the things that he could have been using to spread the light, he, it was distracting him from the light. What are you keeping around and how is it impacting you? Are you blessing others with the blessings that you've been given? Sometimes our gifts become idols. That's something I, I heard last night in a video. Sometimes our gifts become idols. God has placed something upon you that you may be a blessing to others. But are you focused on, on, on using your talents for good or, or for evil or for your own motives? Anakin was blessed to be one of the best Jedi's there were. But when it came time to choose what to do, 
when things got hard for him and, and he has the ability to, to, to make a change, he could he could do it the right way or the wrong way. And he saw the wrong way and he saw that it was quicker, it was easier, that, that it showed more promise because that's what it looked like in the world. So he chose it. And in, in the end, it's the one that led to death. Sin leads to death. And no matter how tempting it looks, no matter how much promise it may show you, there is nothing good that proceeds from sin. If sin leads to death, then what good comes from sin? You have to look past the look of things and, and, and look at what God says about it. Tell your eyes, tell your body, tell your flesh to be quieted and, and look in the spirit. Look to God for the discernment which he hands because only God can give discernment to, 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 the, to the fool. He's the only one who can bring wisdom to those who are foolish. No matter how things look, the truth is in, in, in the pudding, man. You have to truly look at what things are, not what they look to be. Poop is always poop no matter how you dress it up. You, you, poop will always be poop. But man, you put poop in a suit, it, look like, it looks like some fancy poop, don't it? But at the end of the day, poop will always remain poop. It doesn't matter how it looks. So no matter what, evil is always evil. No matter who does it, how they do it, or what they make it look like. So you have to choose righteousness regardless. Because righteousness is what establishes your throne. It's what establishes you. And as long as you walk in wickedness, you walk down a dangerous path. Because it says that sin leads to destruction. No matter how good things look, destruction is the fate that awaits all sin. And if you choose to walk in righteousness, you choose to walk in blessings. And we are blessed to be a blessing, not just blessed, blessed to, 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 to hold it to ourselves. The Bible makes it clear when we get into the word, it's good for us to get into a quiet place with the Lord. But we are not meant just to hold on to what he teaches us and, and talks to us about for ourselves. We're meant to spread the word. We are meant to be a blessing. But how can you bless anybody on an unestablished throne? How can you bless anybody on a path of destruction? All you're giving people are seeds of wickedness. You need to be able to give people something that they can eat from. Be a fruit bearing tree, not a rotten tree that produces no fruit. Let us pray. Dear Father, I pray that this was your word and that it was spoken, Lord God. I ask you, Lord God, please, Lord God, let it be let, let it be received well, that it may rest in the body of people's spirit, and they may, Lord God, learn to walk in blessings, learn to be the impactors and not the impacted. Learn, Lord God, that their speech, their actions, and their lifestyle are things that you will and can use for the purposes of your kingdom if they put them in you and allow you to establish them. But as long as we choose the path of the wicked, we walk down a path of destruction and our path is unclear, unfocused, and untrustworthy. But when we choose to walk in you, God, we decide to walk a path of righteousness. One, Lord God, that, that cannot be moved. One, Lord God, that, that, that is only, only tangible. One, Lord God, that is only decided by you. Could you say, Lord God, that you, you do things, Lord God, they may work for your people. And if we believe that, then we must choose your way at all times because it's meant to work for us. We must be patient, faithful, and, and trust you in your process. So, God, today we give it up to you, Lord God. And we, we let you know that we give you all the honor, the glory, and the praise. And we give ourselves up to you and give you all the control of our situations. Knowing that, Lord God, you are dedicated to bettering your people in their situation. My bad, y'all. The recording cut out, man. I apologize. But, hey, that was the word for the day. Remember always in all things to choose God and choose the righteous way over the path of the wicked. Because the path of the righteous is an established path. There is no question of the route. And on, the, on that path, you have to just trust the Lord and be faithful, regardless of how things may look. Just because success isn't being shown in a worldly way, remember, you have an established path path an established home in a godly way so in and through all things you have a home forever regardless of whether you have a home here or not so say thank you appreciate the lord walk in faith 
You push through all situations, pushing to persevere and be the best you you can be because God's put it in you to be much more than you could ever imagine. Well, y'all, if you enjoyed the vlog, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I pray you enjoy the vibe, man. Hey, no limit, gang. Young and winning moves straight out of state, ain't coming back. They call me Alex at the crib, but they be on the track. My homie Dorsey saying that it's me, but he the Mac. The shorty call me Chester, she a fly that I attract.